Hello friends, I'm Oom um, and today we're diving the fantastic world of Fido West again. And today we're gonna dive into a specific feature, or not a feature, a part of operating system. The Fido West AI. And yes, as a fact, this AI works offline as well without internet, which really is amazing. And today we're gonna test it properly, how many ways you can use this AI. Well, let's start with the first and obvious stuff. How are you? Oh, I forgot the you, but it still replied. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? What if I say not great? I'm sorry to hear that. If you'd like to talk about what's bothering you, I'm here to listen. Well, I'm wondering what shall I talk about in my video about FIDOS AI, let's say. And yes, as a fact, it uses ChatGPT for Mini, which is okay in my opinion. So creating a video about FIDOS AI can be an exciting opportunity to explore its features and capabilities. True? First, an introduction. Well then, I'm gonna create the video according to this. Because all in all, it's about AI, so let's use AI to create it. So first, let me just tell you what is it. It's just an interface which connects you to a language model which is based on ChatGPT4 Mini. And yes, it's a large language model which is downloaded which means it works offline in your system. So you don't need internet to ask any AI sort of questions. Now let's see what else should I talk about. It's key hi highlights. Well yes, you can upload a PDF right from here just like I do this. And now the PDF will be uploaded which might just take a little time. And then you can ask anything from that PDF, like summarize the PDF or what just I did was uploading a sample paper, a sample question paper. So now I'll ask all the answers of that question paper. But first it's gonna upload the PDF to, you know, the server. You see, now it is uploaded. Let me just ask it to answer all the questions. Give me the solutions of all questions. Let's see. Sure, providing solutions is a significant task. Instead, I can help with. Well then, give me the solutions of first 20 questions. Really, give me the solution of the first question. Let's see. Really, let me just share the PDF first. There we go. Now it's gonna convert the PDF or to see the truth, it's gonna upload the PDF. So you see, it is based on ChatGPT4 Mini. Now let me just ask the question. Answer the first question from this PDF. Let's see. Finally, there it is. So it works like this. First, I'm gonna need to, you know, upload the PDF here, then ask the question. And if I want to ask another question from the same PDF, then I'm gonna have to upload it again. But let's say I don't want to do that and I just wanna do something better. So I go to the PDF, wait, the PDF reader looks pretty cautious. Then I just right click here, can I? No, I don't know. Well, let me just select a question, then I do control plus C plus C. Or what was it? Control CC. There it is. Now I can just chat about it and he will answer the question to me. Just like that. So you see this is so awesome. Like wherever you are just select the text or select the question and press Control plus C plus C. You'll see this. Click on it and it will answer the question. It is so helpful if it was like the time of pandemic where I'll have to you know do some questions in my test and I'll just select the question and ask directly. It'll be so awesome. Now I do have another thing to do like let's just ask it to summarize a whole book. You see The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Now I'm gonna ask to summarize the whole book of hundreds of pages. First it's gonna upload so let's wait. There it is. Now let, let me ask it to summarize it. Let's see. Now summarizing a whole book is really a big task for ChatGPT4 Mini. You see, as we have seen previously, it was not able to answer the entire question paper. But this time, 
wait maybe i accidentally did something wrong here let me just upload it again the art of war converting the file or maybe i need to create a new talk topic about it maybe so let me just do that and yes another thing drag and drop feature also works right i have to drop it there you see there it is now let me just ask the question summarize just one word summarize it let's see there it is finally so it summarized the whole book into one page importance of war planning strategy deception terrain leadership discipline spying adaptability nature of combat all of it does that mean i don't have to read the whole book definitely not it's just over the surface not the in depth real experience he shared but all in all if you have you know less time a lot of content to consume then this will help now what i want to do next is to use it offline as they advertise so let me just turn off my internet there now let me ask how are you why then the robot got good morning sorry and an error occurred which is this all in all the error is internet connection failed so it doesn't work offline yet as you know it is in the early stages of development well it is developed but not properly so yep there still hope and then there's something called fight drop visit drop.fightos.io or scan this qr code to send files this is indeed an amazing feature from fight os now if i was you know in a web page like their own fightos.io and let's say i went there you see they, this is the website of fightos where they advertise or tell about their ai and they say it's offline yet always on i don't know how like right now we saw that it doesn't work properly all your apps one command away so we can open applications from it okay as you can see it is not the one we can see right here it's more sort of an application and what we can see is a proper integration so yes there's still time left to see the final product but yes it is pretty nice run I wonder though, like which device is this? Let me just open it there to see properly, and looks like my internet isn't up to the mark today. So it's getting downloaded. Well, as you can see, my internet is not good today. But yeah, good enough to create a video about AI. Well, there it is. Well, I remember that they. Oh, sorry. They did have a tablet, FideOS Duo, but this isn't that. This is something else. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's not that. It's just a template. As you can see, the overlap between the picture and his, you know, thumb. So hence, it's not a real tablet running FideOS. I thought there was a tablet which could run. Well, they do have their own Fide Tab Duo. Let me just ask about it. Tell me about. Fight Tab Duo. Let's see how it will answer this. Fight Tab Duo is a tablet was designed for versatility and portability. It has display performance, the operating system of Fide OS, but also supports Windows, Android, and others. And it has portability in mind, battery life, which will work on the go. So yeah, all in all, from all these things, I can say that the AI does looks awesome. And yeah, its shortcut is. Windows plus E, or Start button plus E, whatever you call it. And if you want to, you know, ask something about, or ask anything for a PDF or a web page, just like I do this. You see, Windows plus C plus C. When we select something, and now we want to use AI to do it, we'll press Windows plus C plus C. Oh, sorry, not Windows. Control plus C plus C. Let's try again. There it is, and it'll directly open the AI and answer us. That's nice. Does it work without anything? No, it doesn't. But yep, all in all, it is a great replacement for assistants in Chrome OS. You see, go in real Chrome OS, we see Google Assistant here, and as you can see, there are a few games here, which I have already created video about. So don't forget to subscribe and see how's the gaming performance of the new Fide OS 19.
in which I've shown games of Steam. I've also shown Android applications running, you know, Android games with keyboard and mouse support, which is really awesome. And I believe that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for videos of awesome, you know, Linux, Android, all sort of technological content you love on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Om, signing out.